Zord Rider Transformers reviews and toy related chat Zord Rider Zord Rider Hello everyone, it's Zord Rider again here uh, and I thought I'd do a quick video for a pickup that I got on my way to work this week Now normally I get a flight up to Edinburgh but because of the delays the last couple of weeks I've been getting the train up and I've decided to get the train today from Wolverhampton I got there a little bit earlier, parked up my car, and I thought, you know what, there's just enough time to go to this toy shop, um, King Street Toys, I think it's called. So I, I dragged my suitcase down there to find out it was shut on a Monday, which I was gutted about. And they sell all old second-hand Transformers. I've got a Siren from there, Headmaster Siren. And so I was a bit disappointed, and I thought, well, I, I wanted to get something and I thought well there's a Forbidden Planet down the road so I, I walked down to Forbidden Planet and they had all of your Wave 1 Power of the Primes figures they did have the um, Rodimus Unicronus figure which looks amazing in hand I have to say that was £50 a bit too much and a bit too big for me to carry but there was one Wave 2 figure on the shelf and that figure was Ripper Snapper, and he's actually the one I really wanted. I ordered this from TFS uh, Express last week, but I got a refund because they'd basically got no more figures left. So I thought, well, 20 quid, a little bit more than he'd be in Smith's, but at least I get something to play with. So let's have a look at the box. Um, lovely artwork of uh, Ripper Snapper here. Packaged in his robot mode with his uh, monster beast mode there. You've got Ripper Snapper Terracon here, Power of the Primes. You've got a picture of Abominus there on the side. Uh, this side you've got nothing. And on the back you've got your product shots and your prime armour and your other stuff that you can get and you can transform him in 14 steps. Uh, and I don't know if you can read the bio there. I will read it out to you. Uh, how will the ferocious Terracon ground attack specialist wield the power of the primes? That's basically it doesn't give you an answer, it's just that statement. Well, there you go. Uh, it's our first Terracon. Um, I know Hunger is part of Wave 2. Yet to see him anywhere, I will get him. The main uh, figures I want to pick up from Power of the Primes are the, the missing combiners, your Predator Kings, and of course, uh, your Abominus. Um, I'm really excited to pick him up. He looks great. Um, shall we get him out of the box? So, straight out of the box, uh, we've got a collector's card. Uh, you know I'm a fan of these collector's cards, and this is the first red one I've got, and it's actually Megatronus Ripper Snapper, and it says there, turns enemies into armour chum and feeds it to Decepticons. I don't know what armour chum is, I don't know if it's a, it's a sister company of pedigree chum, I don't know, um, but obviously Megatronus seems to like that stuff. Mm. They're quite cool things. I like these cards, and I think they're being quite clever by putting different ones in each pack because you'll get people wanting to get all of them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and you know what? If you're not collecting these cards, and actually maybe offer out to some people who are because you can help them complete their collection. But, yeah, cool. I'm a collector of them, but one of each character is enough for me. Uh, you also get the, the Prime Armour, which is done in a blue. No paint accents, no clear plastic. It's a hand. I mean, it's, I'll never use this as armour or anything like that. It's essentially a bomb that's his hand. Uh, and if that's the case, I'd like it to be pink. Um, but no doubt there'll be a third-party add-on kit that'll solve all that anyway. Uh, not a fan of this prime armour gimmick, to be honest with you. I just wish to just give us some hands and feet and be done with it rather than trying to put jewel stuff in there. But... It's mainly for the kids, isn't it? So we can't really argue. You do get your instructions for Ripper Snapper, and you get Ripper Snapper himself. Now, let's do the leg test. Wibbly, wibbly, wobbly. Um, not the end of the world. They will hold up, but they're a little bit looser than than we would like them to be. Um, other than that, they're okay, I guess. Um, he looks great. Beautiful looking toy. You've of course got his guns plugged in at the back and you can take those out. And you can plug them in his hands if you do wish. Um, yeah, which looks okay, but I kind of like the look with them just sitting there on the back. Now, an interesting uh, fact, well, maybe it's a fact, correct me if I'm wrong, that 
about this figure is it's actually a mold mate of Combiner Wars Air Raid, believe it or not. Uh, retooled completely. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's okay. He's a good looking figure. I like the design of him. He's a good update. Shame those hips aren't a little bit tighter. You can, if you want to, take your prime armour and you can stick it on the front of his chest if you really want that look going on. I don't know why you would. Uh, you do that by flipping down the chest panel. You can also stick it in his hand if you want to as kind of a fist gun. Uh, I have seen some people take out the plug and put that in as a gun, but I think that looks a little bit silly, to be honest. Um, so, should we have a go at transforming him? Now, I think, I haven't done this before yet, but I think these fish tails come down like so, and the legs concertina up, kind of Combiner Wars-esque, as a lot of these deluxes are. Um, I know it gets a lot of a lot of stick, this, this kind of transformation, but you know what, it's... It's ultimately fine. Actually, I think what we might need to do here is we might need to do a little bit of rotation uh, in order to fit this up. Uh, and I'll soon tell you if that's the case. I think it is. So. Yeah. Yeah, so you do need to rotate the, the waist. Uh, and once you've done that, you can connect the legs together and stick his fishtail in place. You can oh, also unplug his legs, pull his leg completely off if you want to, and pull his head down. I've already done that. Maybe you should switch that around first. And his arm will just turn around claws like that. So here he is in his monster mode. I think it looks pretty awesome, to be honest with you. Um, mine doesn't like to tab together. Um, actually, that's okay now. I think we just need a good squeeze. But it looks great. It's got some silver teeth. You've got the claws there, which are the same as the robot hands, just twisted round. You've got the legs. Uh, Articulation-wise, you can do a full 360 on the arms, and you can do 90 degrees on the elbow. On the legs... You can do a full 360. You can also have a bend forward and slightly back uh, on these chicken legs, like so, uh, which is fine. Uh, you've also got some articulation on this tail, and of course, on the guns, and the jaw does move, as I said. Um, so, articulation wise, ultimately fine for that. Uh, you can also take the prime armor if you do wish, and you can store it on the back like so which actually doesn't look too bad um, I'll probably be keeping him in this mode for now at least so uh, that doesn't look too bad um, so yeah that's really beast mode now silly me I forgot to do articulation and robot mode so let's go back to that now so the head can do a full 360 the arms can do a full 360 and can go 90 degrees and there is a wrist swivel there due to transformation uh, the legs, uh, they can do like so, all the way out. They can't do the full Van Damme, but they can get a pretty decent angle. Knees, 90 degrees, nothing on the legs, no rockers, anything like that. And of course, his guns can move as well. Um, close up at the face, beautiful, looks great. Um, so all in all, what do I think about this toy? I think it's probably one of the best deluxes we've had so far that I've got. So I've got all the way of one, swoop, slag, uh, jazz and dreadwin, I think it is. Uh, and this guy is definitely better than any of those offerings. Aesthetically, transformation wise and plastic quality, it's up there. Um, so it's a recommend from me. I definitely think you should pick this guy up. Um, I hope we get Wave 2 in normal shops in the UK, in Smiths and so on and so forth, because distribution seems to be a bit of a nightmare at the moment. We don't seem to be getting anything new, apart from Legends and Prime Masters, which is a bit bizarre. Um, but ultimately, this is a great toy. It's a good figure. I'm happy I picked him up. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting the rest of Abominus. Um, so, I've been Zork Rider. I hope you've enjoyed this toy review, and I'll catch you again soon.